Let's be honest, trying to get started in cybersecurity is like standing at the bottom of a mountain with no map. Everyone's throwing out advice like learn to code, get security plus, build a home lab, but nobody is telling you where to actually start. That's why this video is different. We are going to walk you through exactly how to build your own cybersecurity roadmap. A step-by-step -step personalized plan that helps you get from wherever you are right now to a job that pays you well and gives you freedom. If you ever felt like you're overwhelmed with too many options, too many certifications, or too many opinions, then this is for you. Let's start with clarity. The biggest mistake that a lot of people make is that they try to start everything at once. Here's the truth. Cybersecurity is not just one job. It's an entire industry filled with different lanes, each with its own skills, tools, and job title. So before anything else, you need to figure out what kind of cyber work actually fits you. Let me break it down. If you're someone who likes structures, systems, communication and policy, GRC, governance, risk, and compliance might be the perfect fit for you. If you're curious, detail-oriented, and love solving puzzles, you might enjoy work in a SOC, a security operations center, where you're monitoring threats and stopping incidents. And if you're analytical and enjoy thinking like an attacker, eventually you might head towards ethical hacking or penetration testing. But that path usually comes later. The key here is this. You don't have to do everything. You just need to pick one lane that matches your current skill and focus on that. Once you've figured that out, you'll immediately filter out 80% of the noise out there. And that's how your roadmap starts with focus. Now that you've picked your direction, the next thing to figure out is your actual starting point. And this is where most people underestimate themselves. They assume just because they haven't worked in cybersecurity before, they're starting from zero. But that's almost never true. Let's say you've worked in customer service, healthcare, education, admin, retail. These roles actually have a ton of transferable skills. Think about it. Have you ever followed compliance rules or company policies? Have you ever trained others, documented procedures, managed data, or worked with systems? That's already part of what GRC professionals do. So instead of saying, I have no experience, start by saying, I have experience in risk-aware behavior. I just need to learn how to apply it in a new context. Knowing your baseline helps you build a roadmap that's realistic. You're not starting from scratch. You're starting with momentum. You just don't see it yet. All right, so now let's put a destination at the end of your map because you can't build a real plan unless you know where you're going. Instead of saying, I want to work in cybersecurity, say, I want to be a GRC analyst or I want to be a SOC tier one analyst or I want to specialize in cyber risk. Here's how you figure that out. Go to LinkedIn or Indeed. Search for entry-level jobs in those categories and look at what they're asking for. Not just the title, but real responsibility. Are they asking for policy writing, threat monitoring, risk reporting, vendor audits? Start collecting that information. This gives you a blueprint of what skills and certifications are actually relevant. Not just in theory, but in the job market right now. And now you're not just learning randomly. You're building directly towards something that companies are already hiring for. Once you know what you want to do, you need to back it up with credentials. But here's the key. One certification is enough to start. If you're going to GRC or General Cybersecurity, Security Plus is your best move. It gives you a solid foundation in threats, controls, risks, and compliance. And it's respected by employers worldwide. You don't need to chase five certifications at once. Security Plus is often enough to get interviews if you can speak properly about it and you show an understanding of how to apply the knowledge you have. If you're heading deeper into risk and compliance later on, you might want to aim for CISM or CRISC down the line, but not yet. Right now, it's about mastering that one thing that helps you get your foot in the door. Remember, Certifications don't get you hired. Certifications that match your direction and story, that's what matters. Now, here's where your roadmap actually becomes a career plan. You need to start creating proof of skill, not job experience, evidence that you understand how this work actually happens. And yes, 
you can do that without having a job yet. Here's how. Pick a company like a remote marketing agency or an online store. Write a basic security policy for it. Maybe a remote work policy or a vendor risk checklist. Identify a few risks that that company would face. Lost customer data, phishing, non-compliance. Write a short risk report. Just one page explaining what controls you'd recommend. Boom. Now you've got something to show in interviews on LinkedIn or on a portfolio link. Most people don't do this and that is why they get passed over. You, you're showing initiative, clarity and problem solving. That's what makes you stand out. One of the biggest career unlocks in cybersecurity is being known before you even apply. Start by making yourself visible on LinkedIn. You don't have to post every day. Once a week is enough. Share. Share what you're learning from your certifications, what you're building in your mock portfolio, your take on a recent cybersecurity incident. And here's a secret. When you post consistently, people in the industry will notice. Hiring managers, recruiters, other beginners, they'll see that you're serious. And don't forget to connect with others. Join communities, comment on posts, send DMs asking for advice. Not to beg for a job, but just to show that you're doing the work. Your roadmap should never be walked alone. Visibility is what creates opportunity. Let's put it all together. To build your own cybersecurity roadmap, choose a direction, audit your skills, define your target role, pick one certification that fits, build a mock portfolio, create visibility, and build your network. This is how people go from zero to GRC professional in just about six to 10 months. From food service, to six figures. From overwhelmed to in demand. You don't need 10 years of experience. You just need the right plan and the consistency to stick with it. If you want the exact step-by-step -step roadmap that we use to help people get into GRC, comment GRC down below. If you found this valuable, hit subscribe because we are just getting started.